So another Tank Davis win and Chris Billings Smith ekes it out to the very end. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Tommy Edson. I hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell for all future videos. So a great night of boxing last night where Tank Davis uh, beating Frank Martin uh, in in the eighth round, which he kind of predicted as well. Yeah, he, he came under a bit of pressure as well. His right eye was uh, quite marked up uh, by the end of the fight. But look, I thought Frank Martin was getting a bit of success there as well, certainly in those early rounds. But then Tank uh, Davis uh, just showed his class. Benavidez, a, a decent win as well. He's now calling out Canelo Alvarez as well. And they to debate whether he goes back down to super mid or stays a light heavyweight. We know that they're trying to make the Benavidez bivol fight in Saudi Arabia as well. So it's all looking good for Benavidez as well. That's from United States. Liam Paro, a decent, uh, a decent win uh, out there in Puerto Rico against Sir Mariel as well. He feels uh, uh, humiliated with that loss. That was I was just catching up with the uh, the highlights of that fight this morning, so that was uh, decent as well. But the British card last night, Chris Milne Smith against Richard Reakpour, what a what a decent fight that was. A bit messy, you know, a bit hard to watch at times. It was all on the inside. There's a lot of clinching. You know, you got to look at Reakpour. You know, he had opportunities, didn't really capitalise on them as well. But Chris Milne Smith dug in deep, and uh, yeah, a lot of credit to him. He's now looking at. Uh, a unification fight, you know, is it against Jayapataya, or are they going to try and go for an undisputed uh, fighter in the future as well, maybe under a Saudi card, who knows, who knows what's going to happen there. But it's looking good for Chris Billingsworth, a decent, decent fight. Chamberlain against Massey, again, a great fight. I was kind of predicting this is going to be a, a tight one, but what, what a banger that was, and then Massey coming out and win. I'd love to see that fight again. I've got to say, I'd love to see that run back as well. And then last, we've got Ben Whitaker as well. Uh, yeah, going the full 10, and, uh, you know, you know, he came under a bit of pressure as well, but he won in convincing. Nice little flurry at the end as well. And look, he goes on from strength to strength. And look, we've got to look at the opponents that he gets next. It's always the levels that he's got to rise to and what kind of opponents he's going to get. But he's, look, another sort of convincing win there from uh, Whitaker. But really, the spoils go to uh, Chris Minden Smith against uh, Riappour as well. A very, very decent fight there. A very decent fight. One to uh, end the evening in uh, Crystal Palace, Ellis Park. And uh, look, what's next for Chris Billing Smith? What's next for Richard Riappour as well? You, you've got to argue. But next for uh, Chris Billing Smith, is it a bit too early for uh, Jayapataya? I'm not too sure about that. I mean, he was talking about possibly a unification uh, fight for the WA title as well. And then maybe Jayapataya gets the WBC bout as well. And then they just meet for the undisputed th thereafter. But whatever happens, a worthy winner last night from Chris Billum Smith. I picked him to win. Many people were going for Richard Riappour. On another night, it could have been another story. But for me, a decent win, a worthy winner in Chris Billum Smith. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. And I will catch you again in another video coming very soon. Well, whenever the next fight is. Ta-da!